Greetings and welcome back to Room 303 AP English, the 1010 Concurrent Enrollment Course. We're now in the St. Martin's Guide Lecture Number 8, dealing with Chapter Number 8, Justifying an Evaluation. Now this is just one more variation on the arguable thesis idea of Chapter 6. Let's just turn to the way they introduce the, uh, the, the whole notion of this assignment on page 286. Does Scott Pilgrim vs. the World deserve its status as a cult film? If you like Disney films, should you go out of your way to see Moana? What made the original Pokemon Go such a successful game? Does the popular U.S. News Best Colleges Guide use a reliable system of ranking schools? These are the questions, the evaluations in this chapter answer. People make evaluations for various purposes and audiences and publish them in a variety of media. For example, students in a history course might be asked to write and post to the class blog a review of a scholarly book that includes a summary of the book's main assertions and an assessment of how well the author supports those claims with factual evidence and authoritative sources, an assignment, by the way, that's often given in college. A business executive might use crazy slides to present her evaluation of how the company should benefit from investing in 3D printer technology. A motorcycle enthusiast might review his tour of the Harley-Davidson factory in York, Pennsylvania, and publish it in a newsletter for motorcycle hobbyists. And then to page 287, in this chapter, we ask you to choose a subject for evaluation that you can examine closely. Okay. Now, you are still working with the arguable thesis. We've got some, uh, some four exemplars that will help you in models on page 288. The first one is uh, the William uh, Akana um, argument that the cult classic film Scott uh, Pilgrim vs. the World is quote-unquote a hell of a ride, end quote. For some of you, you'll not even know this, th this text, and so you're going to do some research on that count. The next one will be Robinson's praise of Moana for building on and improving the Disney movie tradition. The third of our models is a Spiezer's uh, analysis for the reasons of the phenomenal success of the game Pokemon Go. Some of you familiar with that technology. And then finally, Malcolm Gladwell will argue that the U.S. News and World Report College Guide uses a flawed ranking system. As college students uh, now in your first year, and as high school seniors, you want to know what the uh, U.S. News and World Report College Guide is, and this is a great introduction to it. Now, what are the four key elements of this genre, starting on 289? First, and hypercritical, a well-presented subject. That's what would be very specific, for example. The, uh, the two, two of these will critique a film, for example. Then you've got to have well-supported judgment uh, on, uh, for the second one, right? And then finally, uh, 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 three and four, uh, number three on page 290, an effective response to objections and alternative judgments. Obviously here you're considering that acrimonious audience as we spoke about since lecture number six and chapter six. And then finally, number four, clear, logical organization of your ideas, all right? Now on 292 to 311, you're going to notice your models. Hey, do note that several of these models do not include external validation or a works cited MLA works cited page or a reference uh, APA reference page. However, you are required to make sure that you do have your five pieces of external validation with the MLA style book works cited page. All right. Let's jump now to page 312 quickly to get a sense of the prompt itself. Write an essay evaluating a specific subject. Examine your subject closely and make a judgment about it. That's the arguable thesis component, okay? Give reasons for your judgment that are based on widely recognized criteria or standards for evaluating a subject like yours, all right? So you can critique a film, you can critique music that you like, that will fall under this, right? And then of course supporting your reasons with examples are five pieces of external validation. I want to jump to page 316 because sometimes the difficulty here is in developing the thesis and then the page to follow, 317, and so we want to spend a few seconds paying attention here. The formulating of the working thesis is really the, the central uh, key to writing this paper well. For example, 
bottom of page 316. A good strategy is to begin by naming the subject and identifying the kind of subject it is, then using value terms to state your judgment of the subject's strengths and weaknesses. Three examples. X is a brilliant embodiment, uh, embodiment of blank, here the genre category, especially notable for its superb blank and thorough blank. Number two, because I admire blank, another artist's work, I expected the X to be blank, but I was disappointed or surprised by blank. Number three, X has many good qualities, including blank and blank. However, its its pluses do not outweigh its one major drawback, namely that blank. And again, it's pretty easy for you to critique a film that you've just recently watched or a piece of music that you've listened to that you're either very supportive of or not very supportive of. Now, developing the reasons and evidences to support your judgment on page 317 is obviously crucial as well as you develop your thesis. The question is, how can I come up with reasons and evidence to support my judgment? Notice the do you know on the um, right to the right. Research shows that readers are more likely to agree with your judgment if you emphasize values they endorse. List the good and bad qualities that, uh, of the subject. Begin by reviewing the criteria and the value terms you've already used to describe the good and bad qualities of the subject. These are the potential reasons for your judgment. Try restating them using this basic sentence strategy, which is also illustrated by an example from student William McConaughey's film review. X is blank, your overall judgment, because blank and blank and blank, right? So for example, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World can be appreciated and enjoyed by all audiences because of its innovative special effects, clever dialogue, artistic cinematography, and editing. Notice, by the way, that that's three things which will provide the three points of validation for the body paragraph. Well, I think that by this point, you're going to begin to feel that there's a little bit of the repetitive that's happening. That's a good recognition. We're practicing variations on the arguable thesis theme, in this case, justifying an evaluation. I hope you can uh, enjoy this experience and find something that you think is worth justifying. Thank you.